Well, it's a high-definition world. We've got Brent DeWall from Sony joining us today. Thanks for coming in. No problem. It's kind of a, a love-hate relationship when uh, I see all these, uh, these products. I love them, but then I hate it because I want to spend all my money on this, uh, this gear. But uh, I want to talk about high-def TVs. And, um, you know, a lot of us have them in our homes now. And we're not really taking advantage of all that they can do, really, are we? Exactly. I've been shooting in high def. I have little kids. Uh, I've been shooting my son since he was two. And once you do, you never want to go back because everything is so much more detailed and uh, so much more exciting. It's like you're there. And uh, it's just something that's great for consumers. And having the camera, if you have a high def TV and you have kids, you need a high def camcorder. So uh, you guys have got a, a few different models out on the marketplace. I mean, what kind of price range are we talking? Sometimes I think people think high definition, lots of money. Right. Well, you can get one for around $1,000. Uh, different companies sell different, uh, you know, as, as you go. Our models with this uh, CX-7 starts at around $1,299, and that's the suggested selling price. You usually find it a little less. And once you have that camera, though, you can do so many things. These new cameras have hard drives. This one here records to flash memory, so you don't have to constantly buy new tapes and all those kinds of things. You can just put it on your computer. You can burn DVDs. Now you can burn Blu-ray discs of it if you want as well. And uh, you have all that ability just to keep shooting all the time, which is what you want to do. So just talking about hard drives and uh, you know the flash memory, um, how easy or, or how difficult is it to get the video off there onto like a DVD that you could put into any home player? Well, there's software out there on uh, our computers. We have software that comes with it. Uh, ULED, Vegas, a number of other companies make it as well. It's now supported in iMovie for the Mac. So all the software you've probably used with DVD has now been rewritten to handle this high definition format. So it's as easy as a one touch uh, operation for a lot of these uh, pieces of software. I want this on a DVD, I press the button. And, and that's okay. So it's not, it's not too complicated? No. So we've, uh, we've got a high-def TV here. Which, uh, which one do we have here? This is the D3000 series. This is a 40-inch uh, model uh, that we have coming out this fall. And uh, we're showing here the screen that you see on the, uh, on the CX-7. So this camera, as I said, uh, is very small and light. Uh, like all Sony cameras, it's got the uh, touchscreen LCD, which makes it really easy to get around. And one of the things you notice if you're using a, a camera like this uh, or a hard drive camera is you start to get a lot of footage. And one of the things that we have on here is a number of different indexes. We've got the visual index, which is your standard. Uh, you can see the clip. So here's my son skating. And I, I can just pick whichever clip I want to uh, watch and just press it. Makes it a lot easier compared to tape, eh? Absolutely. You just press, and you've got all the controls there. You're ready to go. Uh, if you uh, look at some of the other index options, I'm just going to jump back here. And uh, we have a neat one called facial index. And what that does is it's actually going to, I'm going to find a little clip here. It's going to look for faces as uh, you actually go through. And so if there's a face that is of someone, That is cool. Yeah, so you think of the school play. Yeah. You've got a long shot. It's about 20 minutes long, and you want to see your son or daughter. So here, it will look through the faces. So whenever it's a head-on face, it flashes a little icon while you're recording. And then you just press that clip, and it jumps right to that point. And there's, there's that person. How much time would that save? That is, that is awesome, and it works. It absolutely works. So it, it's a really neat feature. We also have, again, as I was saying, for those really long clips, uh, there's a, a third kind of index that we have. I'm just going to use a, another button here that will give you every three seconds. So I want to find the part where Cooper falls down. I can just keep looking through the actual shot. I don't have to watch it. I can just look every so many seconds and go, ah, that's the part I want to see. So having the, all the material digital, now you have an advantage for actually when you're using the camera. Because people are starting to use camcorders a lot more like they're using DSC. You use a digital still camera uh, as a showpiece. You take your camera with you, you're at a party or Thanksgiving or something, and you share all the photos with your friends by showing it. Now with this kind of feature, you can do the same thing with your Handycam. Oh, there's a funny thing that happened, and it's very easy to use. And what kind of cable do we have hooked up to the TV right now? This is actually it's going through HDMI. HDMI has a, uh, a version 1.3 that they've now specified, something called uh, Compact HDMI, which is what's on here. So this end looks the same as an HDMI, but it's a little smaller. And the idea there is to be able to have uh, more devices to have HDMI in them going forward. So things like cell phones, uh, you name it, anything that Small has a connection. Quarters have a nice uh, small connection because this I mean it's really small and light it's uh, the kind of camcorder that I've really been waiting for because it does high definition you shoot uh, 6.1 megapixel still pictures so it's finally a camera you can take with you uh, as one camera you know we went to the P&E 
we shoot them on all the rides, and you can take all your still pictures at the same time. So this one uh, takes your uh, Memory Stick Pro Duo. That's right. Uh, so we've got an 8 gig in here. That's, that's a lot. That's right. Uh, how much video can we stick on that? Uh, you can uh, have two hours at the uh, highest quality, okay. and you can change the data rate. Think of it as speeds on your old VHS. You had HQ and SP. Uh, we have that same kind of uh, uh, definition there. So you can choose a longer or shorter recording time. And as these things go, I mean, right now, 8 gig is, is the biggest that, that's affordable. Uh, 4 gigs you can get for under $100 almost everywhere. And, you know, in six months, it'll be 16 and 32. And it's great because you get to reuse it all the time. And uh, that's something I think consumers like. You never, you're running out of uh, space all the time with the tape or it's got a little bit on the end that you have to use up. This way, you're always ready to go. Uh, 1080i, is it? That's correct. Yeah. AVC HD uh, is a 1080i. Uh, format and you get really good results with the handheld camcorder on this one We've got an optical stabilizer to uh, Deal with your handheld shake and uh, with the 1080i That gives you a little bit more smoothness because most people are shooting these by hand and when they whip around or zoom in really close It keeps a, a smoothness doing it 1080i and quickly uh, video is all about sharing obviously we can do that Absolutely. on TV, but uh, uh, I'm familiar with this my kids all yeah. have the, this one well, that, one of the great things about the PSP and what I like about it is that you can put videos on it as well as games. And once you have things in the computer, you get it in there, you can edit it as we were talking before, and you can simply uh, go through and put, uh, here's a little clip, my daughter uh, fought Darth Vader at Disneyland this summer, and uh, that was a big moment for me. She, always, she was not so uh, excited by it. But then you can do a nice little video of it. You can put it on your PSP, your PS3, you watch it on TV, and it's a much more engaging experience. You know, it doesn't stay on that tape in the shoebox. It actually gets onto your computer and gets out so you can see it. Well, uh, now I have to buy all this stuff. <laughs> it's so cool. Thanks for coming in. No problem. All the latest Sony gear, you can check out uh, all the different kinds of products they have at uh, sony.ca or sonystyle.ca. Sony Sony Thanks again.